I remember some fun stuff coming up. Berms. Wow. So beautiful. All right, well, camp is uh, pretty much packed up. And we're almost biked out, kind of tired, but still got some more time, so we gotta use it. We're gonna go ride the Q Trail. You know, weather looks pretty good, so. Gotta wonder. What could we get done in the time we have? What could we get done? We're certainly not going back to Clark's Quarry. I saw a lady who was cleaning up and doing some work around the campsite and I asked her who I would talk to about staying an extra night or just staying the evening and she gave me a lady's number. I told her, you know, I'm the guy who uh, switched spots with the campers and after a minute she was like, you know what, you're not staying overnight, right? And I'm like, no, so just hang out there. So I got to leisurely pack up camp uh, and <laughs> make lunch, kind of past the time I was supposed to even leave. And here we are, somewhat refueled and uh, about to ride the Q Trail again. All right, flipping around so that we go counterclockwise around the lake. That is the flow. And uh, I hate, I hate to think what my uh, ambition is about to pull right now. I hate to think what my brain wants me to do because we did it yesterday and it was not easy. But I think we're armed with what we need to do it. It would be a hell of a slog though. It's cooler though. So, I don't know. Part of me is saying, just do it fool. What are you afraid of? The worst thing that comes to worst, all you gotta do is either turn around, ride the road back, or proceed. There's one spot where we have to make our choice, and that's the blue trail on the other side 
of the lake, the redirect is uh, a 300 foot climb, road climb. We don't know if we're about that. Weed Whacker Man apparently stopped there. All right, well, we just had speed. Uh, but we wasted it because our GoPro has randomly turned off for the second time without any warning. Well, actually, I lie. There was warning. It did beep. But it did not need to turn off. I do not know why it did that. And now it's reproduced that same thing. Which makes me feel like I probably have it set up wrong. Or I press like a settings button. Or it's just broken. That too. We be climbing, yo. This spot makes me want to rub mud on my legs so that ticks can't grab me or they just ignore me thinking I'm mud. I'm jealous. This trail system is incredible. I'm on the cross country loop. It has everything that you would want. Downhill, you know, flow, climbs, smooth descents, not smooth descents, rocks. And you could just ride it. It's like the big boy loop because you kind of need to be a big boy to ride here and ride this whole loop. This is going to take it out of you. And then they have the chill stuff, the stuff that I crashed on today. <sighs> Damn it. That was as soft as you could possibly imagine a crash could be. <laughs> like they, it's like a flow trail. Sweet 16 is like a flow trail. It's got the ridiculous flowy bits. The stuff that I did not ride very well today. It's got some flats to speed down and some nice flowy turns. And then you got the uh, Boley Moly, I think that's what it's called. That's just incredible, smooth, open, downhill. Another berm. Now it was covered in grass today, but we still had fun. And uh, it's kind of like a smaller version of this. And then finally you have the quarry trails. <sighs> yeah, dude, that's tough. That's some rough stuff. Cooper's and, uh, shoot, Cooper's quarry and, uh, I don't know, Andy's quarry, who knows. That's just incredible tech. I would love to just sit there on a day where people ride this trail or that trail and just soak it in, stand at some of the most difficult spots and then literally just watch them just blast through rock gardens that I personally don't even feel like 
are kind of like humanly possible. There's some rock gardens in those quarry trails that will really make you think. Like, I had to get off the bike. I had to get off the bike and just talk and, and like and show you guys like what I was talking about. I got through a couple medium rocky bits, but there, like, there's just so many spots that are just like absolute nightmares and i mean it and i really mean it usually i'm like wrong i like i look back and i'm like you know what that's really not that big of a deal but today i saw some shit i seen some shit and uh i, I mean i'm excited it, it is exciting and listen to me blabbing as I'm riding this beautiful, this beautiful trail. So it's about 15 degrees cooler than it was the other day. Yesterday and uh, I think that means I could probably manage some more uh, trail today. I've already ridden for, you know, an hour and a half. If we're gonna do this whole loop, it's gonna be, you know, two and a half hours out here, maybe three, but I think we're armed with some knowledge. I think we've got enough water. We have enough food. The question is really gonna be my back. Is my back gonna play along? And the key is to turn spots like that, smooth them out, relax, do your biking when you can, and just take it where you can. You know, that back will get sore. We know it. And we can stop and do some yoga before we get too sweaty. You know, we're warmed up. I tell you what, an e-bike, would be fantastic here. All right, remember that it can be kind of slick in here. Ooh. Oh, I hate it when I forget like what gear I'm in. almost crashed somewhere around here yeah I almost crashed right there I believe kind of or no maybe it was here either way wherever we cr almost crashed yesterday we just got to be careful I lost my front end in one of those slippery uh coniferous tree spots we just did a light stretch some pigeon um and then just like some mobility work and we'll be doing a lot of that as we go uh, through the trail here. So just gotta keep it loose. 
And you know what? I think we'll also walk some climbs. Why not? Does that look like fun? No. Yeah, I expect we'll probably walk a couple climbs today. Ah. Weed whacker man, where are you? For real. Love that waterfall. kind of remembered that. Not this. It's funny what you remember on these trails. What's up, fellas? Any more luck? Nice. So I'm gonna do that anytime I know we got a sustained climb or anytime I make a mistake. So I could be hopping off my bike pretty liberally when I'm climbing if I make a mistake with how I'm pulling the effort. And all of that is just to preserve my back. Squirrel. The problem is, is that we're not balanced enough to be doing that kind of heavy lifting all the time. And part of this is mobility, which is what we'll be doing with like pigeon stretches and stuff like that. And just kind of moving the body around as much as we can. And if we do all of the things right, we'll hopefully throw down a better time than yesterday. Uh, even getting off the bike and all of that, because hopefully we won't have too many long stoppages. And we should be able to just keep the power even, unlike before. relax gotta relax after those moments
because leaf is tripping me out. Shit. All right. I remember this brook. Uh. Uh, uh, Q trail, Q trail. There it is. There it is. That leaf is really stuck. All right, so it might be a little bit more wet in here, I think. We're making good progress already, I think. I came into that way too fast yesterday and got real tight. So we're uh, we're kind of testing the theory. Does the uh, does the tortoise win the race? Can a tortoise win the race? I think he can. This is a good climb, chill. I wouldn't call that a mistake. That's just not something I'm willing to do right now. Yesterday, just ripping up through here. Maybe I will be faster yesterday. And the reason I talk about my back so much is just because, yeah, it does hurt. It's not impossible to deal with. But, yeah, it's there. I've never heard my bike make so much noise in granny gear before. Like, what is going on? Those were thorns, big enough to rip you off your bike. <laughs> At 
we just ran out of batteries. Um, yeah, another little pigeon stretch. Maybe some drink. <sighs> yeah, so we got the element fuels. Oh, uh, salt water. And I like it. I think uh, it's more expensive than Gatorade by a bit, but I think I'll keep it in, in stock for really hot days, days like this. All right, so I remember some fun stuff coming up. Drop that seat. Oh shit, target fixation. Again, same spot. I didn't know where to put the front end there. So I think the pigeon stretches are the key to get the, uh, the back feeling better again. And uh, I'm starting to get better at knowing when we're gonna get the smudge. God, we're gonna get so good at hitting turns like that someday. All right, we did not come off that jump with the bike correctly there, but we're good. Yeah, we got the smudge, but we're good. Ooh, golden finch. Beautiful. Gotta get some stones in there. All right, so I'm not sure if I've passed the part where I struggled a bit last time. All I know is that in the, those trees there, those pine needles, they, uh, they do something funny with the trail and it's okay, but as you can see, it gets kind of rooty. Those pine needles kind of slick, soak up water, stay there. And yesterday I lost my front end. Just kind of not really expecting much to happen.
Wow. <laughs> Being smart today. Ride smart, not hard. That's what I never do. Ah uh, yes, got a berm. You know what I don't appreciate enough? Water, you know. 
regular water. I don't seem to ever drink regular water. It's always Gatorade, Element, or dare I say, Liquid Death, or Bubbly. I'd say like right now, I like the Element Citrus salt, like it's good. But you know what's also good is just water. Water is also good. Ah! I think I got some citrus element in my nose. After that pigeon stretch, I'm not gonna risk the progress I'm making with my back by throwing too much power down up this hill. I need to just drop the gears. And to say it again, we're making great progress slowly, methodically, so that we can really enjoy it as much as we can and not throw that back out. We've got two hours of driving ahead of us and uh, I suspect I'll be finding a rest stop halfway for dinner and to let my back reset a little bit again. Probably throw down on some Aleve <laughs> when I get back. Yeah. And I did it again. Forgot to drop that gear. That's one reason why I would suggest not to uh, do what I'm doing. And uh, I'm losing a little bit of time on these climbs. And I'm giving myself breaks whenever I make a mistake, not dropping the gear. And it's almost like, it almost makes you uh, make more mistakes because you don't care. Amber. I think this is the right way. I believe that just goes back down to the lake. We were charging pretty hard there.
lovely. Lovely little zone we're in. Stay on the trail. No, stop. You gotta stay on the trail. We're climbing, baby. Go on. Hey, man. What's going on? How oh, are you? Good, man. It's a great day out here. Yeah, perfect. Huh? Hero dirt, too. I kind of wish I had my jersey on. I've never once in my life ridden. with my jersey open like that. Although I want to. I want to look like Lance Armstrong. That's what I need. I need a gold jersey. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Just riding around everywhere with a gold jersey. Yeah, nothing, no big deal. I'm the fastest, you know. Speaking of which, I get Strava rides from my buddy Matt Madick, who lives out in Aspen, and he constantly shows me rides that he goes on that have, you know, rides from Lance Armstrong. He's just absolutely demolishing everybody. Duke and mountain bike. Yeah, it's a bit of a fall. If you go down there, you're falling, buddy.
A little stretch never hurt. <laughs> we are stretching like crazy today. Hip mobility, a tight posterior chain, all of these things, very important. Well, let's relax a little bit. We're relaxed, we're maxing, we're chilling. No need to put a ton of effort down, we can do it. Shoot for the clearing. Whatever we gotta do, it can't be any worse than Clark's quarry or Cooper's quarry. We've covered some distance and we're about halfway across the lake from where we started. Uh, here comes the pivotal moment. We're gonna go down a blue trail that is the most direct route Otherwise, we got to go on the road and uh, yeah, it is a blue trail. It is very much like the quarry that we rode earlier. And uh, we will see how it goes. We'll try to make this full lake ride happen again second day in a row we'll be uh, taking a break here in a minute All right, yeah, I believe this is where things will start to get interesting. I just hopped back on after a quick break. Uh, 
Yeah, so I believe this is a blue. I think we're on the blue. I didn't pull the phone out because I mean, if I'm wrong, we'll get there sooner or later. But I believe things are a little bit more rocky and it slowed us down a little bit. Uh, I'm carrying around like five pounds of extra dirt right now. I can feel it. I think that helped. Yeah. Get that dirt off of here. Maybe we're not at the blue trail yet. You never know. So scary. hit my head oh geez that's a concussion concussion protocol uh, holy moly I think I'm done uh, that was dangerous yeah we're almost out of battery I hate to think we're gonna have to rush to get all this in he puts his foot down He puts both feet down! Damn!
any heart, stay on your bike. It's kind of funny, it's almost June and I still haven't even ridden at Swatera yet. I'm scared to think how fast I'm gonna ride Swatera when I finally get back. Here's some of these rocks. <laughs> I got to do this, the uh, blue trail that takes us all the way down to the lake or the creek that feeds out of the lake from the dam. And then I got one big climb to do there after that and survive. Gordon. So just watch this. I think things should turn up a little bit here. Right here. We're in the grandiest of gears. Oh my God, that is so hard. It's steep. deep down there all right so I know we're about to get to some spots that were taking all of my breaks yesterday and I was also having my eyes sucked in way too hard way too close to my tire so we're gonna try to fix that Pedal when you can, don't when you can't. Very nicely done, Joey.
Wow. Pulled that out of my ass. We thought it was over. No, sir, it's never over. And now, I'd like to say we just did that. Did not put a foot down. Yes, I'm riding slow. because I have that option right now. We're doing really good. All right, where's the line, where's the line? Oh my God, those rocks are purple. There must be something special. Probably why there's a steel refinery here. What's up with those purple rocks? I keep kicking my front foot or my right foot off the pedal. Every time you see the camera angled up like this, it's me standing up and taking a break. I hit that one turn perfectly and found the gap between those rocks quite nicely. Berms. Wow. Not me. Hey, bike. Sunshine, flowers, butterflies. Not drivetrain issues. <laughs> So beautiful. Look at that. Let's 
get those hands a little bit wider on those brakes. You gotta hit that perfect. Ah. This is what happens when you lose your flow. God, you cannot rail these turns too fast. severely washed out. We're making progress, baby. When we get back, all we gotta do is pack a couple more things, take a shower maybe, definitely. Don't get lazy, Joey. So next weekend, I'm hoping to go to Virginia. Uh, and uh, see my sister and my dad. Haven't visited them in a long time. I don't even know. I think I've just been there once since COVID. And uh, hopefully I will be riding the uh, trail that I found last time it cuts through it's called the Potomac Heritage Trail sorry and it cuts through uh, a golf course Trump's golf course and it's about 18 miles of stuff like this but not a lot of climbing there's some not a lot uh, and uh, I'll go to the Great Falls in Virginia on the Potomac and then turn around, hopefully. 36 miles total. I think you can appreciate my odd hand positioning right now if you're a road cyclist. This is kind of how I do it when I'm uh, really tired and I don't want to use my fingers anymore. We got a little bit left to do. We got to go up this hill. I'm not looking forward to it, but You got to do what you got to do. 
And what we got to do today is the full Q trail. And we will compare times. to the jackrabbit and the tortoise. <sighs> two water balls is almost not enough. I can't believe I made two water balls work yesterday. Although saying it worked is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Yesterday after I was done riding, pretty much just shut down. It rained, so it was okay. But, you know, I was not expecting what to really get out of this. Which ended up being a lot. as I struggle past the 90% mark right now. I'm satisfied. I'm ready to be done. No shame in hiking and biking. It's better than being in the house, living life like a couch potato. You don't have to come out here and do this, but there's a lot of things out in this world that are a challenge, that are waiting for you out there. You'll never do anything with your life until you challenge yourself and you take risks. You know, some pretty bad things have happened in my life in the last year and it really is everything to me to get out on this bike and push through it even if the bike itself or the act of going camping makes me feel a little depressed at times because I'm all alone I can still get out here and live, which is more than some people can say when bad things happen in their life. So if you don't have something like this in your life and everything's going good, take that time, take that opportunity, challenge yourself with something that's hard, that's stressful make it yours just like I did with mountain biking and then all of a sudden you have this outlet and that's an incredible thing rock firm <laughs> oh, I need more suspension
that was insane. My brakes really need service. I'm basically touching the back of my fingers with uh, my brake lever. I might goof around with it when I'm at camp and uh, switch my levers around with my shifters to try to get a little more leverage on them. I could get my fingers a little bit further out on the outside and probably utilize more brake power. All right, we are officially back where the other trails start. And we are in survival mode. Yes, that's the end of Sweet 16 right there, I think. Which means we're so close to being done. I don't want to say I didn't enjoy it, because I did. But it's like leaving a little extra on the plate. It means you're satisfied. Ah! I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. We did it. <laughs> A little jump for success. Well, we're parked in front of the trail. 